Today we will have a look at relationship between arithmetic mean and geometric mean. But before we do that, let us quickly have a look at one more uh, geometrical interpretation of geometric mean. So let's say we have a right angle triangle. That is, it forms 90 degree here. And let's say the sides are R, S. And now what we do is we draw a straight line, a perpendicular to the hypotenuse from the 90 degree. We have this as 90 degree and this thing as 90 degree. So we have a right angle triangle. Let's say this is A, B, C. And from the point of 90 degree, we are drawing a perpendicular onto the hypotenuse. And let's say the uh, this perpendicular is dividing the hypotenuse into two segments. Let's say this one is A and this one is B. And the length of this perpendicular, let's say it as H. Now, if you consider the triangle ABC. Okay, before that, let us consider this small triangle. Let's say A, D, B. So here we have R as the hypotenuse and H and A as the legs. So we have R square is equal to H square plus A square. So this is for this small triangle. Similarly, for this triangle B, C, D, we will have S square is equal to H square plus B square. Now for the big triangle A, B, C we have the hypotenuse as a plus b therefore a plus b whole square will be equal to r square plus s square r square plus s square or now if you extend it you'll get a square plus 2ab plus b square and if you substitute r square from this equation you'll get h square plus a square and if you substitute s square from this equation you'll get h square plus b square. Now a square b square gets cancelled from both sides or what do we have here is 2h square is equal to 2ab or h is equal to square root of ab. This is what we had found as the geometric mean, right? So if we have two numbers a and b, then the geometric mean would be square root of ab. So one form of interpretation of geometric mean could be that if you if we have a right angle triangle, let's say, then if you drop a perpendicular from the 90 degree to the hypotenuse, and if it's dividing it into two segments A and B, then the length of this perpendicular would be geometric mean of the product of the length of these two segments. So this h would be square root of a b. So this is one form of geometric interpretation of geometric mean. Please uh, go through the steps once again, trying to make sense of uh, yeah, the small triangle, the big triangle, and you will be able to come at this conclusion. Let us now take a step further. So let's say we have a circle and this is our diameter. Now, in when you study the chapter of circles, one thing which you will study is that if we draw a triangle with the three points in this form where the two points are the diameter points and one point is on the circle, that is the chords that are joining the diametrically opposite points, then what we have is this chord let's say this as a this as b this as c then this a b will always be perpendicular to b c that is this angle will always be equal to 90 degree if a c is a diameter that is this is the let's say center o then this will always form a 90 degree here you can easily prove it but we'll have a look at this later in, in when we study the chapter circles. Now what you could do is if you drop a perpendicular from this point to this, let's say this as something like BD and this is perpendicular. 
And let's just dividing it into two parts, AD as length A and DC as length B. Now this is what we had seen uh, just a few minutes before that. If we have a right angle triangle and you drop a perpendicular from the right angle to the hypotenuse and if it divides the hypotenuse into two segments A and B then this perpendicular this thing will have a length of root square root of AB or this will be the geometric mean of these two segments. Okay and now since the diameter is A plus B so this whole length AC is A plus B right so the radius would be a plus b divided by 2 that is if you join the center with let's say this point then what we will have here is this length will be a plus b divided by 2 i hope you get me so a plus b is the diameter that is ac is your diameter right a plus b and this length ob which is equal to the radius will be equal to ac by 2 or a plus b divided by 2 now if you just focus on this triangle here that is o b d then what we have here let's say this is the triangle there o b d o b d then this is the hypotenuse with length a plus b by 2 or this is also the arithmetic mean for the two numbers a b and this is your geometric mean square root of AB. Now this is the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse will always be greater than one of its leg. And if it is equal, then it is no more a triangle. It is just a straight line. Therefore, from this straight away, you can find a relation between arithmetic mean and geometric mean is that arithmetic mean will always be greater than equal to geometric mean. So this is the relationship that you can obtain. This is why I went through the geometrical interpretation of uh, um, geometric mean and how we could interpret it here and compare the arithmetic mean and geometric mean. Feel free to uh, again rewind the lecture, go to the beginning and then follow the steps from beginning until here. This relationship we will also uh, in our next steps we will also conclude this uh, algebraically. Now how do we reach the same conclusion algebraically? Let's say we have two numbers A and B, two positive numbers. Then what will be the arithmetic mean? Arithmetic mean will be A plus B divided by 2. What will be the geometric mean? Geometric mean will be square root of AB. Now let us have a look at one relation. Arithmetic mean minus geometric mean if you take the difference. So what will you have a plus b by 2 minus square root of ab or you can write this as a plus b minus 2 square root of ab by 2 or if you think of this expression you can think of it as square root of a square plus square root of b square minus 2 times square root of a or square root of b divided by 2. Now this expression is here here is a square plus b square minus 2ab or we could write this as square root of a minus square root of b whole square divided by 2. Therefore what we have here is arithmetic mean minus geometric mean is equal to square of this term square of square root a minus square root b and then divided by 2. So now we know that this square term is always greater than or equal to 0. It is equal to 0 only when square root of a will be equal to square root of b. If this term is not 0 then this will always be greater than 0 because it doesn't matter if uh, it is positive or negative here. If you take the square then it will always be greater than equal to 0. Therefore this term here will always be greater than equal to 0 or from this you can reach at the conclusion that arithmetic mean will always be greater than or equal to geometric mean. So this is the conclusion we reached geometrically and this is also how you can uh, reach to the same conclusion algebraically. So go through the uh, lecture again and try to 
uh, write all these steps on your own and you will get to understand it. Let us solve uh, one quick example. So let's say for two numbers a and b, the arithmetic mean is equal to 10 and geometric mean is equal to 8. We need to find the numbers a and b. So what do we have here? We have a plus b divided by 2 is equal to 10. This is your arithmetic mean or a plus b is equal to 20. Now the next thing we have here is a root square root of ab or geometric mean is equal to 8 or ab is equal to 8 square that is 64. This you can take as equation 1. This is your equation 2. Now we just need to solve for a and b. So one little trick whenever you have the value of a plus b and ab what you could use is this formula a minus b whole square is equal to a plus b whole square minus 4ab. This is a very useful formula so whenever you are given a plus b and ab you can use this formula. So what we have here is a minus b whole square is equal to 20 square that is 400 minus 4 times 64 which is equal to 256 or a minus b whole square is equal to 144. Therefore, if you take the square root on both sides, what you will get is a minus b is equal to either plus 12 or minus 12. This you can take as equation 3. Now we have two equations here and you can easily solve for a and b. Let's say we first take the value a plus b is 20 and a minus b as 12. So if you solve this, if you just simply add this, what will you get? b, b gets cancelled, 2a is 32 a is 16 if you put 16 back here you will get b as 4 so this is one case either a can be 16 and b as 4 or you can take the other case where a plus b is equal to 20 a minus b is equal to minus 12 if you again add it what will you get a, a can b b cancels so 2 a is equal to 8 or a is equal to 4 if you replace 4 here b can be 16 therefore the numbers that you have here is either it is 16 4 or 4 16 so 16 and 4 will have an arithmetic mean of 10 geometric mean of 8 or 4 and 16 will have a arithmetic mean of 10 and geometric mean of 8